fellow Zimbabweans, great compatriots, it is on a sad note that the ZANU-PF-led cabinet, after its sitting on the 7th of December 2021, announced, among other resolutions, its intent to bar all unvaccinated citizens from accessing public transport. Simply put, unvaccinated citizens will not access or travel using Zupco, combis, taxis, trains, or a Zimbabwe. Without a proper scientific vaccination program, using vaccines accepted by all, the move borders on insincerity and insanity from the ZANU-PF leadership. First and foremost, the constitution in section 66 subsection 2a allows for free movement of all citizens in Zimbabwe. The same section allows for free entry by diasporans in the, into Zimbabwe. While section 86 provides for conditions of limitations to rights and freedoms, the limitations must be fair, reasonable, just and necessary. The cabinet decision coming at a time when some people have not access to the second dose and some are reacting to the forced Chinese vaccine and the government failing to access the reputable vaccines under the COVAX program means the cabinet is unfair, unreasonable, unjust, but more importantly, uncaring. So insincere is the ZANU-PF leadership that while it is advocating for a travel ban on unvaccinated citizens, it is at the same time using people at rallies in all provinces addressed by its leadership, including E.D. Monangagwa, who are buzzed in, Zan in Zupko buses. ZANU-PF is holding primary elections, busing voters to centers, some of the elections actually turning violent, and we have Kweke City, for example. ZANU-PF is busing people to provincial elections pegged in these Zupko buses. The Minister of Finance released bonuses for all civil servants at, at one go, turning queues at banks into super spreaders. Why then punish the travelers, especially at this festive season where traffic is expected to be high? The MDC government will provide an efficient mass transport system that ensures all travelers are safe from COVID and accidents. The MDC Alliance calls on all citizens to put an end to the uncaring and insensitive ZANU-PF regime by registering to vote, persuading each other to come out and vote, and coming out to vote in huge numbers at the next opportune election at any level, be it by-election or general election. Our solution is in the votes. Our destiny is in our choice. Choose the MDC Alliance. Choose Advocate Nelson Chamisa as your president. Anytime, every time.